creating custom tattoo back pieces. This is a, a painting representing the uh, birth of Venus by Botticelli, I believe that's how it's pronounced. But um, now in 2016, I believe that just about any sort of design is being accepted as it has a tattoo now. So I think even if you're just out there drawing stick figures, you can actually market that as, uh, as tattoo designs. recommend that whatever you decide to draw or create just make sure that it's the best available thing on the market so we're trying to make a business of it or compete with others you have gotta have the uh, best available out there. You're competing against me for that dollar. Against my friends for that recognition. You know, for other associates for uh, acknowledgement in their community. And in many cases the best person suited for it will win. I try not to play the whole victim card. It's because I was black. It's because I was a woman. I didn't win. No way. You do enough research. And you'll see that there's always an exception to the rule. Always. Always, always, always. You now, besides Bruce Lee being an amazing martial artist, an amazing philosopher, The thing that, to me, that it's also had another thing about him that also empowers me or, and or reminds me of the possibility one has is is that he did in um, his, his uh, acting career his movie roles he didn't just want to do the uh, full full manchu role, full manchu roles many people he got a lot of criticism saying that there's no need or a want for an asian asian actor that, uh, generally speaking those roles were even given to to white men. And that's that's a real minority there. The Asians in Hollywood. They don't complain about that. So I 
sure that it's illogical. I'm pretty sure they find it illogical too to complain about something that you know an Asian like Bruce Lee did it not because he played the race card, but because he offered the market something refreshing, something new. I just want to remind everyone else here listening that it is possible for you to also be successful. And that also that depends too on what, what your definition of success is. Be clear about that. What the hell does that mean? Success. That means different things to different people. went down to um, to see an old shop, an old place of business that I uh, want to uh, um, do something with. And I noticed that one of my old uh, comrades is no longer in business and he was doing pretty good. He, um, he was doing okay his products, his clothing line. He had one huge client, powerful client. Well, a client that had a lot of uh, financial muscles. Financial muscle and he... Man, I'm still thinking about that how I thought uh, he would last. We gotta ask ourselves: Do we are we truly in control? Who's controlling us? Or what can we do to control our eyes to increase the odds? Like most days, I'm still reevaluating myself, criticizing myself. I don't believe in a lot of, a lot of that you know, Buddhist bullshit of uh, let it be or um, let go to hold on. Well, there are ex exceptions to the rule, but I think feeling discomfort with your situation is an actual indicator that there's possibly a better way of life and a more effective way of life. Uh, nicer community to, to be in. Mm 
And if I was, uh, let's say, paralyzed, or I had some real horrible injury, man, I would do my best, whatever I could, to get therapy, try to connect the muscles up. And I wouldn't just be, let it be. I've seen a kid um, going through um, therapy, therapy recently. I believe he uh, dislocated his neck, injured it severely. And had lost um, All of his, of his limbs and body, and pretty much the only thing that stayed intact, pretty normal, was his head. But this kid uh, keeps on. Yeah. Keeps on taking what, maybe not even a dozen steps. That's progress. None of that. Let it be, you know, let me be a vegetable in bed. Or seeing, you know, personal stories of uh, people who share their personal stories with me of being in another country. Basically, being a farmer. Thinking to themselves, like, what? What else is out there beyond those hills? And uh, getting on the road and traveling to foreign lands. Without a, without knowing the language or even knowing what's what's in that land. You know, they could have just stayed on the farm and lived their a pretty normal and plain life, but they uh, chose not to. But um, I think some some um, Buddhist cliches are are enlightening. Enlightening. Some are silly. I think it's careful. One should be careful. One to choose one or the other. We don't care. That's my name on Facebook if you want to add me or follow me on there. Send me any suggestions or questions, complaints and compliments are also welcome.